Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about more about tessellations. I had a young lady email me today. Uh, she could not figure out how to get this red border around her tessellations. So I thought I'd go and just start one from scratch and just kind of show her how to do that. And the best way to do tessellations would be instead of drawing a square box, let's draw lines. Hold down your control button and just draw a straight line. To make it easier, we're going to make it two inches. Now we're going to zoom in here a little bit. I've got my nudge factor set on two inches. So we're going to control D and make a copy of that. I'm going to left arrow over one time. Now those two lines are exactly two inches apart. Control D, I made a copy of both those lines. Now we're going to rotate them 90 degrees. Now I basically have a square, but I've got four lines making up the square, which makes it a little bit easier if you were going to, uh, well, I'll just show you why it's easier because you need to manipulate these lines. So we're going to go here. We're, we're Today we're just going to make an easy one. So get your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines you do not need. Now we have this half circle. And because it's two inches, you've got your nudge factor set on two inches still, control D, left arrow key. Now you've got exactly that duplicate. Use your virtual segment delete key. We use a polygon on the top one just to make it a little bit different. Let's virtual segment delete key the lines we don't need. Control D to make a copy of it and move it down one. So now we have a tessellation. And a tessellation means it's all going to fit with inside of itself each time. So I'm going to group them together for a minute. I'm going to control D. I'm going to move it over two inches. Control D and make another one. Now I'm going to group them all or just select them all and control D and move up. So now I've got six very simple tessellations. But you can see how they all fit inside of themselves. For just a second here, we're going to control G, which groups them together. We're going to hit P on the keyboard to put them in the center. And now we're going to take our outer board and press P on the keyboard. And now we've got it in the center. Now, it's not exactly in the center because your outer parts, Corel's taking into the fact these outer parts. Now, you can play around with this. You know, by, uh, well, let's just do it real quick. Get your two-point line and go from that node to that node. You know, from that, whoop, back up here. That node to that node. That node to that node. And now that's the center of this uh, box. And then you would do the same for this, the larger box, and this is just kind of showing you how to get the center of this item. So we need to group all this together now. Control G. Now we just need to grab it and move it to the center of that box. Now, and it's not exactly, now it's more in the center equally left or right because it's not taken to the fact I need to ungroup these get rid of these lines and this is the part she was having trouble about these are all grouped together so let's ungroup them now let's lasso them all and your weld tool comes up use this one right here create a boundary now you've got a boundary, and if you'll use your nudge factor and just move it out of the way, that's your interior cut of this wood. Now, we only really need one of these pieces. We do not need the other ones anymore. So now let's nudge this back up, or two inches. So if you cut this out of one piece of wood, you'd have a, a frame with an interior hole. Your hole would be this part right here. Now let's back up here. 
Now what I always suggest to do is when you put this in there, the kerf of the laser is going to make a gap. Anything you use, I don't care if it's a saw, bandsaw, table saw, it's going to take away some of the wood. Well, the laser is going to too. So to make it fit a little bit tighter, we need to contour this piece. Go to Arrange or go to Effects, Contour. Now we, you want to use red or black. Let's use black because we've already got red. And we're going to contour it to the outside. Three one thousandths of an inch, 0 .003. Hit Apply. Zoom in here real close. And you actually, for some reason, we contoured both the inside and outside, but that's easily done. You need to go to range and break contour apart. We want to get rid of this red line and this black line. Well, we need to break them apart. So that's the line you want now. Now we'll move it back over. Got to click on it. And it's back exactly where it needs to be, but it's a little bit thicker now. So now you go control. So you only need one piece to done, but then you're going to cut this out six times and preferably with different species of wood. So when you put them back in this hole, they're going to fit a lot tighter because you've contoured it. As you can see, the black line is just past the red line. And that's the fact that it's going to take that out. And then if you do another one, control D and make a copy of it, it's the same thing. It's going to help you in both dimensions. It's going to make your it's going to make it a lot tighter for you. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.